What's up, Yupid family? We're back, and today we have an awesome DIY for you guys. We're gonna be doing matching friendship bracelets and collars. So what do we need to get started? We're gonna need some string, either colored or uniform. It's completely up to you. We went for different colors in this DIY, but a solid color collar is just as cool. We're also gonna need a plastic buckle, some D-rings, and for your bracelet, we're gonna need a ring and a latch. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our dog's neck measurements. Then we're gonna fold the string according to those measurements and add half of the measurement for knitting and comfort. For example, if your dog's neck measures 12, then you probably want to leave the measurement as 18. If your dog measures 10, then probably 15, but the general rule of thumb is you always want to leave half extra. Now we move on to the buckle, and all we're going to do is put each string through the buckle so it could end up evenly on each side. After this, we're gonna insert a single string through the middle of all these other strings. The next step is to simply cross every string around the main middle string. And once we've done this, we're gonna start inserting each end and repeat the process until we go all the way down and we finish the knitting of the collar. And just a quick tip, try to make every knot as tight as possible because the tighter it is, the sturdier it's gonna be and it's gonna look way more professional. So we're finally done with all the twists and turns, right? Well, not quite yet. What we're gonna do is get the remaining pieces of string, put it into the other side of the buckle, and then just start tying it down with regular knots. And so we're at the end of the collar and all we have to do is grab the main middle string, do two basic knots just to finish off and secure the collar. We're going to utilize some scissors to cut off all the excess string and for the next part we're going to strongly encourage caution because we're going to be using a lighter to seal off the end of the strings to give it that last final professional sleek look. Look at this thing. It looks amazing doesn't it? But please very careful with the lighter. So we're done with the collar, but we do need a D-ring because you always want to have a dog tag on your collar because just in case your pup gets lost, you always want to be able to find them. So we're going to use some pliers to open up that D-ring, insert it somewhere in the collar, and then use the pliers again to close down that D-ring. Then use your fingers to turn that D-ring around, and there you go. It's ready for a dog tag, and it's ready for your dog to sport it. But wait a second. This wasn't just for your pooch. Now, we're gonna move into your bracelet. And this one's way easier. All you wanna do is make a loop with the main middle string and then just do the same thing that you did for the dog collar, but in a smaller scale. So instead of using like five or seven strings, you're just gonna use maybe three, possibly four. But we use three for this version. And remember, try to keep it as tight as possible. And at the end, when you have to use the lighter, remember to exercise Caution, we can't stress that enough. And we've reached the end, but we don't have to deal with any buckles or any more knots. All we have to use is this small ring. We're gonna go ahead and open it with pliers and insert it at the end of the bracelet. Then we're gonna insert the little clip, close the ring, and then just attach it to the other end, which should be the little loop. And there you go. Friendship bracelet, simple, right? Now the best part, you and your pooch, matching best friends you know that's what you are so if you enjoyed this diy make sure to check out the rest of our content we have other color diys we have some doggy recipes we have a review and we got some more informative videos coming for now it's juan from you pet see you next time